What up, though? Heist man, the foe. Talk that talk. Ghetto news and opinions, man. We got to talk about this Space Jam movie, man. I seen it last night. Me, the wifey, and the kids, man. We sat back, you know, had um movie night. You know, family movie night. We wanted to watch Space Jam. I heard it was good. Um, I heard it was bad, actually. When I, I had to see it for myself, man. We ain't finna talk about how bad people say it was and all that stuff, man. We finna just talk about it, man. Because I seen it, man. I, I thought it was a pretty dope movie, man. I give you my rating on it when I get done with it, man. But what I take from this... not I said Spongebob. What I take from this Space Jam movie is about um being, being yourself, being who you want to be. You know, doing your thing. And that's what it started off about, man. Um, It started off with LeBron James and his son you know, with a video game and he went to some little meeting. He took his son with him and he got LeBron James. He got caught up in the, um, not the matrix, but he got caught up in the, um, in the video game, in the video game system at this place he went to, man. And I got to say, man, he was a good bad guy. Um, Don Cheeto was man. His name, algae rhythm, algae rhythm, like algorithm. That's what he did, man. He was the algae rhythm. And, um, he wound up taking LeBron's son from him. And he made, and he sent LeBron James to Toon World. And when he got to Toon World, he met up with, you know, the player himself, Bugs Bunny. And Bugs Bunny, you know, he said, we got to get the band back together because they had, um, LeBron James' son made a basketball game. And Algy Rhythm took the game. And this, he wanted his son to play basketball, LeBron do. And he got his son, um, to this E3. He wanted to go to E3 and he wanted him to go to basketball camp. But, you know, it didn't go that way. The system took over the game, and he took over um, his son, and they got stuck in the computer. And um, like I said, they went to Toon World, and they said they got to play a basketball game. They're going to play this game your son invented, bro. So what's my man's name? Bugs Bunny said, we got to get the band back together. When he said we got to get the band back together, he was talking about the basketball team because they fun to have a, you know, a little scrimmage, a little game. The first person they went to go see was, uh, what's my man's name? Daffy Duck. You know, he wanted some superheroes. LeBron had his little wish list he wanted. He wanted, like, Superman, the Iron Giant, Trinity. He wanted a whole bunch of people. Like, they used a lot of um, properties from Warner Brothers in this. And I think it was ah, beautiful, magnificent, magnificent. But he went to, um, got um, Super Duck. Then he got Super Duck because he going to be the coach. That's who he was, man. Daffy Duck was the coach. And this is all going to be all spoilers, man. And they went to, you know, went to go get everybody. I thought it was pretty um, cool how they went and got everybody, man. We went and got Wiley Coyote. Wiley Coyote, he was um, in the desert. And it was, came off the um, uh, Mad Max movie. And Wiley Co Coyote sprayed his mouth with the silver stuff. And he just went, hell, man, that was crazy. I love that part, man. I love the, 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 um, the way they brought this team together, all the properties they had, they had used because they Warner Brothers. And... They um, dressed up as the Matrix. They went to go get the grandma and Speedy Gonzalez. She was the... This was so funny to me, man. I love this, this um, old lady, man, the grandma. And um, one of my favorite parts was she jumped up and showed that monkey to that cop, man. She did the Matrix, the Trinity movie. You know, she showed that monkey to them people, man. That was funny to me, man. I love that part, man. They went and got Emma Fudd. He came out as mini me. That was dope, man. Yosemite Sam, he was Casablanca, I believe it was. I don't really familiar with them black and white movies, man. But he was um, Casablanca, and they went and got him playing the piano. Foghorn Leghorn was riding on the dragon like Khaleesi's herself, man. That was like, what? Like, they put all this stuff into this movie, man. It was great. They went and got Lola Bunny also, and... One thing they did about Lola Bunny, they changed her up. They um they said they over-sexualized her last time. Had her with two, you know, skimpy clothes or whatever, man. They didn't want to do that this time. They empowered her, man. And I forgot about this, man. I ain't even had this in my notes right here, man. But um they took her to, um what do you call it, the Amazonian land. And she was trying to become an Amazonian. And that's, hey, I think that's pretty good, man. It's pretty dope that Lola Bunny is now Amazonian because... She went to Wonder Woman and fought with them and did a little test and trials and tribulations. And I thought that was pretty cool, man, because Lola Bunny really don't have a backstory because we was watching them. My daughter was like, what is she from? She only, oh, like she from Space Jam 1. And we find out, you know, now she got some, she got a little bit more meat to her, man. Like they can, I don't know what they can do, but Lola Bunny is now an Amazonian. She would want Wonder Woman, not, oh, that's Wakanda forever. 
Something like that. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Wakanda forever and... Ching, ching. We ain't finna get into that, though. But that was pretty dope, man. We got to talk about the Goon Squad. They didn't have the Monstars this time. They had the Goon Squad, man. And I say, man, they did a good job, man. They put two women on the Goon Squad this time, man. Um, They had the Spider, Arachnica. She had killer moves. Like, she had... How many arms spiders got? Eight legs? I said arms. How many legs spiders got? They got eight legs so she had eight legs or whatever digits whatever doing her thing man killing it man she had the white mamba also they had two women on the goon squad so this was um you know women friendly like they had some women doing some dope things in this movie man um the white mamba was to um diana tarazi she was a snake the white mama slithering doing her thing anthony davis was the brow you know how the brow look you got the brow um What's my man name? Clay Thompson. He was wet fire because he was wet and he was fire. And they had a secret weapon. It was Dane Time or Kronos. That's what they called him in that man. And like he had some special powers too, man. He he was really good in this movie too. Like everybody who did played in this movie did a great job, man. Big shout out to Don Cheeto again. Um, I always had beef with Don Cheeto, but Don Cheeto, man, he he showed his thing, man. He showed that. Mm, he showed himself. He wow. He showed up and did his thing in this movie, man. Mm. Don't say that no more. Um, who else, man? They had everybody in this movie, man. When they went and played the video game, the, the basketball game, like the points was outrageous, man. Like the first half score was like a, a thousand and twelve to fifteen or something. Like it took a lot to score. You had to get style points and all that, man. But they had everybody at the game, man. They had they had Manila Gorilla, the Flintstones, Chatora, Yogi Bear, and Boo Boo, the um the Jetsons. Jabba Jaw, like all these Hanna Bar Hanna Barbera characters, man, they had in there. Even Rick and Morty showed up in there. Yeah, Rick and Morty was there. They had uh, what's my man named the Mask, Pennywise, the Joker. Everybody was at this game, man, to, to see this man. Like the properties they used for this man. Some people they were saying that I seen it um trending on Twitter earlier, and it was like what's my man name um Ready Player One. It was like the Ready Player One of Space Jam. Just like. They brought in a new element, like, I don't know, man. There's a lot I want to say about this. I'm just I'm rambling. But they brought in a new am, um, element. It's like they didn't come from outer space. It came from the computer world. Like, back in the days, like, you could do that. Now it's all about computers now. They mixed that in real good, man. One of my favorite parts was um the rap battle with Porky Pig. He got up there spitting bars. I'm talking about bars. He did his thing, man. That was like, that was a a great moment for me. I was like, yo, Porky spitting. That was crazy, man. Grandma was lit. That was my favorite in there, man. Grandma was lit. Had her little martinis and daiquiris and all that stuff, man. It was crazy, man. But how I come down to an end, um, they won, you know, man, you know how it's going to go down. They won. Um, and he got, you know, got his son back and, um, he took his son to the basketball game. I mean, to the, to the um, basketball camp and he told him nah man we ain't going to the basketball camp i'm taking you to the the e3 the little basket um the video game stuff you wanted to do so there's like showing you that like, he he gonna let him be himself and he let his son be himself because his, he had another son who's balling out i'm like hey he ain't gonna play on the ball team but this other son you know who played made the video game was on the um goon squad not the monsters i keep getting them mixed up goon squad monsters hey man it was a really good movie, man. Um, and that's how it went down at the end, man. Um, Bugs Bunny, you know, had a little tragedy. Or so we thought, but he came back. And, you know, they got to clutch at the heartstrings a little bit. But um, I think it was an overall dope movie. If I had to get this movie a rating, I had to give it a 10 out of 10. I can't, I can't front. No cap. It was a 10 out of 10. It was good. And somebody was better than I expected. I heard that it was going to be a bad movie. It was bad or... LeBron can't act. No, LeBron can't act. He can dribble. He can play basketball. He can dunk. He can do all kind of other stuff. He ain't got to be an actor, but he did good in this. He ain't had to act. He ain't do nothing but talk to cartoons and dunk. Like, come on, man. So, I give it a 10 out of 10. Like I said, me and my family, we sat there and watched it, man. Laughed. Laughed out loud at a cartoon movie. It was cartoon, Pixar, and big shout out to Don Cheeto one more time because he played that role to the T, man. He did his thing. Mm, mm, mm. 
Anyway, I'm finna get up out of here, man. Um, I go live on this channel every Friday at 9 p.m. Y'all gotta come through and holler at me, man. I talk about all kind of other stuff other than Space Jam, but this movie just it ain't touch me, but it touch. It ain't touch me, but it touched me a little bit. And I had to, you know, had to chime in on it. I want everybody to know, man, that Space Jam 2, A New Legacy, is a dope movie. Go check it out. Everybody, tell your mama. And, hey, matter of fact, I wish I would have went to the movies and saw this. Like, that's how good it was. It was one of those movies I wish I would have seen on the big screen. I got HBO Max, so me and the kids, and you know, ate some potato chips, popcorn, whatever, la da da. Did that, watched that. It was like, man, I would have paid for this. I'm glad I didn't have to, though, because, man. I got a lot of kids, me and my wife and the kids going to the movies, popcorn, juju bees and soda and all that. So that's going to cost, man. It's like a $150 trip. Anyway, man, like I said, I, I'm rambling. Um, I go live on the channel every Friday at 9 p.m. Y'all got to come through and holler at me, man. Hit that like button, the comment button, the share button, the subscribe button, the notification bell. All them good buttons you got to hit to get this pimping that I'm putting out when I put it out. And like I said, I go live every Friday at 9 p.m. Come through. And high let your boy, Heist Man the Foe, talk that talk, ghetto news and opinions. Peace.